The new film, The Favourite, tells the story of Queen Anne and Lady Sarah Churchill and Abigail Masham. And here at Kensington Palace, we have a display of costumes worn in the film. What this one has is fantastic characters to begin with. We've got yeah. three really well-written female leads and they're all completely different. The cut was as accurate as, as we could make it as, as mm. much as we know. So I, I wanted the correct cut and the correct silhouette, but then sort of took liberties with the treatment of it and the fabrics and the decoration and how it was mm. And denim. Is and denim. That, I noticed, that is... black bodice is made from old jeans. Is it? Yeah, we bought jeans from charity shops around Slough. All the kitchen stuff are made from old jeans. Very often, people forget that Anne was an incredibly effective stateswoman. When she put on these impressive robes, she'd have projected the power of the crown. Lady Sarah Churchill controlled the Queen's finances and used her position at court to further her own ambitions and that of her husband. She was one of the most brilliant women of her age and a keen and astute political operator. And I never thought of it as being masculine. I wanted her to be, I think of all three, she is the most in control and manages to maintain her control for quite a long time. And she wears the pants in the same way as Catherine Hepburn did. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's Catherine Hepburn. No one looked at Catherine Hepburn and thought she looked like a man. Yeah. Or that she was being particularly masculine. She yeah. was just being emancipated and her and free yeah. and doing what she did. And Making I, I, the decisions. I, yeah, and that, that was sort of my point of reference for her in a way. Lady Sarah's generosity to her cousin Abigail would eventually backfire horribly. As Lady Sarah distanced herself from Anne, Abigail provided the comfort and support and constant attention that the often very shy and quiet Anne needed. When Anne gave apartments here at Kensington Palace, which Sarah believed were rightly hers, to Abigail, the rift between the women grew even greater. Emma Stone's character has a definite trajectory. She was the lady full on hard times and then she falls in the mud and it gets even worse. So she goes right down to the servant's character here. Then makes her way up to lady in waiting in black, then makes her way to lady where she gets to wear more white, which was the black and white of the court. And then at the end, she's really sort of gone up there and sort of gone too far. And I tried to make her a little bit nouveau riche, I guess, you know, the vulgarity yeah. that comes with nouveau riche. These were costumes for the Duke of Marlborough, Lady Sarah Churchill's husband, and Robert Harley, who was a close associate of Abigail Masham. They represent the two different political factions, the Whigs and the Tories, that existed at Queen Anne's time. Queen Anne, as a stateswoman, had to navigate between the two competing political viewpoints represented by these two men. That was one of Yorgos's stipulations. I mean, he wanted the women to not have makeup, to not look like they had makeup on, yeah. to be like completely fresh-faced, clean. Yeah, he wanted the men to look like the overdressed, ridiculous peacocks, which they did. Which actually in the period is completely fine because people did look like that. 